day, everyone. I am your aviator, Captain Austin. Today, we'll be discussing about what happens to your body during flight. Airplanes have been cleverly designed to mimic the normal conditions in the sky, but they are not always perfect. Have you ever imagined what happens to your body while in plane? All your senses are dull. If you feel the airplane food is tasteless and unappetizing, you are not the only one noticing this. The airline caterers are not the ones to be blamed for cooking tasteless meals either. Then, what is responsible for this? It is down to your body system. It is tasteless because your senses of taste and smell are significantly dulled when cruising at high altitude. Your ability to taste sweetness and saltiness can diminish as much as 30% when you are up in the sky. A number of factors are responsible for this. The extremely dry cabin evaporates the mucus in your nose cavity, thereby decreasing your nasal perception, which affects your ability to taste, which is linked to your sense of smell. These factors combine to reduce your degree of taste. Another thing that happens to your body is that you become extremely dehydrated. The body loses as much as 1.5 liters of water every four hours. To constantly drink water because lack of hydration makes you feel dizzy, gives you headache, and also lowers your blood pressure in extreme instances. Most importantly, also avoid alcoholic drinks and coffee because these will make you to feel highly dehydrated. Another thing that happens is that your brain will get confused because of jet lag. Jet lag is the extreme tiredness you feel after a long flight across different time zones. It affects your physical and psychological response to your surroundings. The next thing that happens is that your ear pops. This happens when your inner ear struggles to balance its pressure with that of the surroundings. This hurts really bad. It normally happens when the plane is climbing or descending. If you want to minimize this pain, do things that will open your inner ear to, like chewing of gum, drinking of water, and yawning. You can as well take some recommended drugs for it if the pain is too severe. In conclusion, we can see the way our body system reacts while in flight. What we can do, and that which we can do nothing. I remain your aviator, Captain Austin. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell button for notification, share and like. See you next week for another interesting topic. Bye.